Hey guys, you see here. Always see you guys in a computer table setup. So I think sometimes it's nice to be in a setting outside of the home and just you know, talk some things out casually, right? Without looking at a computer screen, right? So, uh, thought of just talking while driving so that we can just connect. So as you know, I have been uh, working on the UC Max bot, right? And uh, it's, it's doing good, right? And I've been posting the live results and sharing the live results with the people in Discord. Uh, and also just on YouTube as well, generally speaking, right? And, you know, we're having, it's, it's a good data. And recently I have started, I started doing some tests with the, with the lower tick chart and also the range chart, right? Uh, range chart, because let me, so the thing is that you know, when you're trading Apex accounts, the biggest thing is the drawdown, right? Uh, that's what you kind of fear, right? Because every time it, 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 it it's a drawdown, it, it impacts your ability to crawl back up, right? And the emotions kick in and all that stuff. So the ideal way to trade would be is to just keep the drawdown minimal, right? And capture small frequent points, right? So any, I mean, any, bot that can work for apex i think should have uh three things okay number one is that it should have the strategy itself should have an edge right it should be good quality trade setups that it looks for right and then secondly it has to uh be managed using uh an atm template that that matches your risk profile right or even the account size of apex right and the third thing is that uh, you have to have some personal rules when you are trading uh, these apex accounts right and that means you have to have discipline right so what i did was i ran the uc max bot on 50 tick chart and also on the four range chart right really small and I started running them from 8 a.m. in the morning approximately, well, not approximately, exactly at 8 a.m. Eastern till whenever my daily goal was met, right? So in Apex, most of the people target, you know, again, I'm just targeting, let's assume that somebody is trading five accounts, right? They're copying their trades on five accounts. So you want a few hundred dollars every day, you know, being accumulated or, you know, that should be your target every day so that you know it multiplies right so let's say you target four hundred dollars every day in your same account and your personal account that is being copied over into the other apex accounts right so and then you also stop if the uh if your loss goes to four hundred or five hundred dollars right you stop that day so what i did was i started trading from january 29th onwards all the way till today uh, February 8th right and and I wanted to evaluate what it comes out to be right so I would so in the next part of this clip you will see uh, that I did that and I would stop either at 400 500 dollars profit or if it hits my 400 or 500 dollar loss first for that day right starting from 8 a.m. Eastern right uh, so you have to have those rules you have to have some discipline right outside of the strategy outside of the order management template if you want to do this for for longer run right you have to you have to be disciplined right and uh, having a bad day where you stop trading because your daily loss limit is hit does not mean the strategy is bad does not mean that you are a bad trader right it's just it's just the nature of the beast where you have profits you have losses right so the the, the, the goal is to have number of days where you have, you know, your profit targets, right? And have 
number of days where you're hitting your losses to minimal, right? And then just have a large enough sample size uh, to, to uh, you know, uh, uh, to go with this sort of uh, strategy and bond, right? So that's what I tried to display. That's what I found out after playing around with multiple settings, uh, both UC EMA and even UC Max bot, right? Uh, that it has to be a combination of of these three things, right? Strategy within Edge, order management template, and personal rules uh, that are overarching uh, your, your your trading, right? So enjoy the next clip and let me know what you guys think. But I will keep keep sharing with you the data, keep sharing with you the uh, the performance. And any other observations, I think, uh, will help uh, people who, who are into these prop, uh, prop, prop accounts, right? Because the number one problem with these uh, prop accounts is the drawdown, right? Of course, they are in the business to, to make money as well, right? And they're only going to give you that money uh, in terms of a funded account if they... Uh, if they, if they know that you'll keep failing, right? But that's not what our goal is. We want to pass the evaluation. We want to get funded, and then trade, uh, you know, without without any uh, any headache, right? So, and that can only happen when you trade with discipline, when you have some rules, when you have a strategy that's working, right? So that's what I found out after working on this thing for some time now. That there is no golden spoon, right? You are not going to find something. Uh, like that, uh, you know, just like that. You have to, you have to make it work, right? You have to have some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, you know, rules to stick with to to make it all work. Okay. Uh, hope you guys like this little video. I know we were out of, uh, you know, little setting of our uh, computer and all that stuff, but I just wanted to get out and talk to you guys about this thing a little differently this time, okay? All right, hope you guys enjoy this video, and for now, I'm going to uh, have some fun. You are hit, okay, fellas. So, uh, like I was saying, I've been playing around with it and just you know, trying different things. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it on a 50 take, right? From So again, from Apex perspective, what we are wanting is uh, minimal drawdown, right? And just just closing the day a few hundred dollars up, right? Because you're trading multiple accounts. So if you're copying all those trades and going for a few hundred dollars, in you know uh, in those apex accounts so they add up right so we want to just keep our drawdown minimal and just close the bot when we hit that uh, hit that level right so i will be enabling the bot from like uh, <clears throat> uh gen you know we'll, we'll play back this thing on range chart and on a 50 tick chart so on left side you have 50 tick and on the right you have the four range chart okay and combined both uh, you know we will see which if we hit like you know 350 400 500 dollars uh daily goal we'll stop it and then we will move on to the next one and or if we hit minus 500 for the day uh we will stop that day as well right so we will we will have some personal rules overarching uh <clears throat> the the strategy okay all right, so let's play this thing. Okay, so let us take it all the way to Jan 29th. And we can always go back after that as well, but I just want to do it for like, you know, last two weeks, including this one's. So let's take it there. So right now, and let's take this thing. Let's take this thing to like eight in the morning, something like that. There you go. And we will enable these. Oh, uh, I need to change these to playback. One second. Okay. Let's do that. We can enable this thing again. It does not require any adjustments or anything like that. You just click on the button and let it go. All right. We'll see what happens. or
order filled. Or order filled. Or stop filled. Or order filled. Or order filled. Or 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 stop filled. Order filled, stop filled. Or order filled. Order filled. Or order fill, order filled, or 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 order filled, or stop filled. Order filled, stop filled. Order filled. Okay, so we close the day at minus 158 we're going to record that so that we can keep track of that right january 29th okay and we close the day at minus 158 that's after earn, uh, the commission and the max drawdown was minus oops minus 390 and max high was plus 121 we can record that as well Right, so we can just uh, write that as well over there. Okay, why is not okay? Hi and max drawdown. Okay, we'll make it look pretty later on, but that's how I intend to keep track of it. Okay, so let's go to the next day. I gotta move on. Order filled. Or stop filled. Order, order filled. Order cancelled. Order or stop filled. Order cancelled. Order or stop filled. Or stop filled. Order or order order filled. Or stop filled. Or 
order or stop filled or or stop filled Order cancelled. Order order filled. Order 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 filled. Order filled. Order 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 cancelled. Okay, that was fast. Cool. We'll stop it here for this one. <clears throat> the most uh, okay. Order filled. Order or, order filled. Order order or, or stop filled. Order filled. Order or, stop filled. Or stop filled. Order 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 filled. Order filled, order filled, order filled, or order, or or stop, or order, or order filled. Okay, stop here. Order, 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 order cancelled. Order filled. Order filled. Okay, I think I missed it. It was so fast, but let's see where it stopped us. Oh. Okay, so we don't have to, we would not, not have taken that trade, right? So I'm not going to count this one, or even if it goes positive, we will not count that. So it was 627 or let's just say 591, right? Mm, 591 was the high, we closed at, let's say 591. The drawdown was uh, zero, right? So that's good. Okay. So. Stop filled. Okay, for that gonna stop. Anyways, we already made our threshold, so let's go to the next day. <clears throat>
order order fill order fill or stop filled or order order cancelled or order order filled or 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 order or order order, order filled okay stopped it again let's see where we are uh, Okay, so zero drawdown, and what the hell? Uh, two of five. Okay. So five. Order filled. Order, order, order filled. Order filled. Order cancel or stop filled. Order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Okay, we'll stop there. Uh, so, what was the thing? Order filled, order filled, or, or stop filled. Or, order filled, order filled. Or, order filled. Order cancelled. Order, order filled. Okay, we'll stop here again. Let's see where we are. Okay, four eighty Hopefully I have the data <laughs> downloaded for today up till like three o'clock or something. We'll see. Uh... <laughs>
or stub filled or order filled or order or stub filled order filled order 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 filled okay so 508 okay that's great let me bring up the summary So we started with a little bit negative, but it picked it back up again to close at 510 with a drawdown of 96. Okay, so, uh, so you know, based on all my thinking and everything else, I think this could be a good combination, but it has to be, yes, it's hands-free, right? It does not require any adjustments, any distance, bright, non-bright, aggressive, whatever. Uh, I still have to see the split between tick and range, but but it's kind of, it's kind of you know, random. I'd say tick has more more trades, but, but range has good trades as well. So it's kind of both. Uh, so for example, for today, let's see, uh, let's see for today. So if I were to bring one sec, uh, yep. so this is tick, right? So that means off this five, you know, the, the, the remaining $250 came from, the, sorry, uh, from tick chart, right? This was from the range chart, so range is pretty good, looks like. Okay, uh, so yeah, I think you have to have some sort of overarching rules, right, uh, that you have to stick to. Like, for example, in this one, I assumed that, hey, if my day is more than negative 500, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to try to make it back up, right? Had I kept on you know trading it could have brought it me back up into positive or it could have resulted into more negative right but the thing is you have to stop right you have to have some personal rules so based on this i still have to do the remaining dates which i will do over the weekend if i find time maybe earlier than that but tomorrow's weekend so, so this is a total of about twenty eight hundred dollars right even with this loss right where you closed so i think that's what Apex people or people who want to trade Apex accounts <laughs> uh, want, right? Where your drawdown is nil or minimal, right? Or if it is a drawdown, just stop after certain threshold. You have to have those rules. Otherwise, uh, there is no golden key. There is no, uh, you know, uh, thing like that where you, it will give you, uh, you know, profit every day you will have you will have drawdowns and losses you just have to manage it with some rules that are not reflected from trading but they are reflected through your discipline okay hope you guys like this video we'll continue this path for for some more time uh but yeah looks good man all right thank you and have a good rest of your day bye bye